Hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you uh, a brief review of uh, the P1 encoder from Kiloview. Here we have uh, the product itself. As you can see it is really small encoder made for bonding purpose and actually streaming um, wherever you are. Okay, first uh, a little bit brief on this. Um, as you can see here, you can find the two antennas for Wi-Fi connection and uh, LTE module. Then you have two USB ports that you can fill up with uh, uh, USB uh, to LAN adapters or maybe uh, 4G or 5G LTE keys. Uh, on the front, we can find the SDI input, the power button and the stream button. And on the side, uh, you can find the SD card um, reader here and recorder and the two uh, SIM module. Okay, uh, basically, I'm going to uh, let you show uh, how this uh, product works. I'm gonna uh, fire the start button. Now it's going to boot. As you can see, there's also an internal battery with LED indicator on downside the SDI connector. Once the power button stops uh, the flash, it means that the encoder will be ready to go. Now I'm going to attach a SDI signal into it and uh, I'm going also to attach the uh, USB to LAN adapters to just uh, see the the product in the local area network okay we are now connected there's a video that is playing from uh, vmix now as you can see here we have the main uh, web UI of the of the product and uh, we have um, this is a motion JPEG snapping so a little preview of five frame for uh, a second for what we are sending into the devices. Okay, let's uh, see what we can find in the menu. Onto basic settings, you can change the password to um, enter in the web UI. You can have, you can change location and time. Uh, you can do a factory reset, um, update the firmware, and there's also a maintenance. Uh, page. Onto the video and audio settings uh, we have uh, things like brightness, contrast, saturation and hue. Of course we can st still have the auto selection. And uh, onto this you can find uh, also the video cropping, scaling, rotation, flipping and etc. Basically, this uh, encoder has the, is enabled to crop the image, scaling, and also rotate the signal we put inside of it. Um, onto the audio setting, we can uh, decide uh, uh, from where to get the audio. In this specific case, we only have the SDI input, so the audio is embedded into the SDI. And here we have the audio uh, encoding engine. Uh, here you can uh, change the encoding from for the audio, the sample rate, uh, the, the channels if you want a mono, a stereo, and the bit rate of the audio. Uh, also specific uh, setting for SIP uh, connections with other VoIP uh, products. Um, you can have also, you can uh, add a NAS to uh, actually record and stream directly into the NAS or maybe save your footage there. We have uh, the overlay um, uh, parts because this uh, encoder can hold or also overlays uh, into the, um, the encoder itself. I'll let you see later. Then the network settings. Okay, here in the network management, we have uh, 
uh, here you will see the USB connected devices. In my case, I have the USB to LAN adapter. Uh, this has also Wi Fi connectors uh, connectivity, and uh, you can connect to uh, different uh, Wi Fi access point. And this is actually works as an access point. In fact, we can actually um, get into the web UI with a local IP network I'll let you see later. Uh, we have the two modems. From here you can configure the APN for your carrier. So everything it's uh, quite easy here. As, you, as I mentioned before there's a local links solution so uh, the encoder will be reachable on a specific IP address uh, no matter if you have if you are in behind a DHCP uh, router, this would be the address on which you can find the encoder. If you don't know uh, what the IP address is, I'll let you see. I may change this to this one. Uh, ask me for username and password that for default are admin and admin. And as you can see, I see the main UI again. Uh, but of course, if you are under DHCP routers or DHCP pool, you will have your own DHCP uh, IP address and find your devices. You can also use OnVIF, which is a, um, a software uh, which basically uh, on the port 8080 uh, will search and scan for devices. So you, if you have multiple devices and uh, you uh, not have uh, access to the um, local area network you will download this software and uh, really get uh, simple to know and reach the web gui okay uh, basically i'm um, let you see there's also the intercom but uh, we will see it in another specific video i'm going to show you the um, um, the main part which is of course the encoder part uh, this encoder actually have uh, two uh, encoders inside. There's a main uh, stream encoder and a sub stream encoder. Um, they are different. Uh, the first one can uh, stream up to 1080 60p and the second one is capable of 720p HD resolution. Uh, they are actually separated so you can uh, change the parameters for each of the encoders um, the specific case as you can see if i enter the settings you will find the scaling so the resolution of your image after being acqu acquired by the sdi connection uh, the color you can choose to go monochrome or color the profile of your h264 encodings uh, the bitrate uh, of course, the amount in, in a megabit of the bitrate. Um, uh, if you want to have the frame rate to be full, half if uh, the source goes up uh, major than 50 frames a second, uh, the GOP size and the reference frame. Uh, of course, this uh, encoder can be used uh, on its own so without any server uh, but the main uh, system actually here works with uh, kilolink kilolink is actually um, a server made uh, patented by kiloview that allows you to bond uh, the connection you have in the in the encoder okay i'll let you see this is the kilolink page under the network and ser uh, service settings um, in my specific case, I'm connecting to my VPS server and as you can see here on the top, I have connected the two SIM cards and the Ethernet adapter and here we have the round trip time um, and uh, all the data we need here in the interface, we can choose, uh, check or uncheck uh, the interfaces we want to, to be used. Uh, into the into the server um, I'm gonna let you see in a second okay and now I'm going to uh, log into the server okay uh, as you can see the server um, let me uh, get 
get to see my uh, unit here which is this first one and here you have the upload and the download side of the unit onto the device management uh, you can see the, the device itself and if you click everywhere on the device here in, in these lines you will have the settings okay in uh, uh, in this top part so you have the preview if we press the play button uh, we can see what we are sending through uh, to, to the server okay this is the signal that's coming uh, into the SDI connection and has been sent to the server the link status for the connection we got uh, both on sending rate and receiving rate and actually the terminal settings so what I've uh, let you see before uh, the parameters of the, the encoder could be also changed uh, remotely from here okay we can choose uh, change the bitrate the profile and the resolution uh, the gob sites uh, basically everything you've seen before also the audio encoding could be set you have a quick reset to uh, just reset all the parameters for the streaming and now i'll let you see um, how to create a new stream let's for example delete this that's some streams I've, uh, I'm using right now. I'll let you see in a second. For example, as far as this is running onto a um, uh, VPS server, the ports are opened. We can um, basically uh, add, for example, uh, let's call it SRT test. Choose the SRT method, the mainstream. You can, of course, choose between the two stream you're sending uh, to the devices from the device sorry and uh, we have push service enable and the listener ports in this specific case I'm using this listener port okay we can choose uh, the latency of the stream if I press ok as you can see now uh, the the server is sending onto this SRT string uh, the signal coming from the encoder okay I'll let you see in a second into VLC, for example. Uh, we open uh, the, the SRT stream. Uh, okay, let me lower down the volume. Okay, uh, this is the stream coming from the server, okay, uh, which is actually uh, being sent by the encoder to the server basically you can uh, uh, also has different uh, encoding of course we can also for example um, choose to send the same signal through Facebook let you see in a second I'm trying to go in live for example and uh, we're going to copy the data in here so add streaming server let's say facebook live uh, rtmp of course in the push address we're gonna use the url for the server of facebook then slash and then we're gonna have the streaming key inside of it press ok okay the RTMP is now being sent to Facebook and as you can see we got Facebook too. Uh, we can have as far as it concerns, as far as your uh, server uh, allows you to do as many uh, streams as you could. Okay, because now I'm streaming also the SRT signal, uh, the RTMP, but we basically can add multiple destination like YouTube, Twitch, Akamai and uh, also of course on-premise server where you will reach your SDI um, uh, production, remote production for example. Basically you can uh, send the signal wherever you like. Uh, onto this part of the server you have the aggregation status where you will see how your connection is, is being bonding okay 
so uh, you can see here we have uh, three main curves graphic and uh, the yellow one is the amounts um, uh, of the bandwidth we are using if we go on the online device we see uh, the bandwidth we are consuming uh, onto this stream um, basically this is it I mean uh, this is a power solution for your um, broadcasts uh, where connectivity is uh, a problem of course we can also only use the sim cards uh, I'll let you see now uh, in a second I'm going to delete uh, the cable from here from the encoder I'm gonna uh, detach the USB with a, a LAN cable and you will see that the carry will have this ramp down you see the Ethernet which is the green line has been disconnected here okay but we still are online as far as the uh, server is bonding those connections and uh, still use uh, the capability of the other uh, SIM cards that are inside the, um, uh, uh, the encoder itself. We can also, of course, remove... It's a, this is a re real critical uh, situation, but I'll let you see. I'll remove another SIM card. Okay, I'm gonna remove the SIM cards and you will see that also the sim card is going down right now okay but we still we are still online as you can see here we are moving the signal with only one connection so no matter what critical situation might be uh, onto the connection side okay you can see we have lost two to connection but the the signal is still uh still there okay of course i'm going to uh reboot the sim card inside the encoder and i'm going also to uh, add back the usb to lan adapter and uh, you will see that the connection will uh, uh will be retaken in consideration by the system as you can see the blue line is now ramping up because the uh, SIM card has received, uh, has been set up back and also the green one which is the Ethernet is going to uh, ramp up back again. The signal is still there, there's no uh, stops in here so basically this allows you to have uh, a, a fail safe solution with this bonding server and uh, so far it's a really good product um, that makes you uh, do your outgoing streams everywhere uh, this solution is patented by Kiloview of course uh, there's a deployment guide on the Kiloview uh, site uh, you can do it on your own but uh, there would be company also that will sell the uh, solution uh, to you without any complication on Linux, uh, Docker or other stuff. Uh, I hope you like this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.